Even disabled and abused with her mouth taped shut. The disturbing allegations are in a new lawsuit tonight on behalf of a student who went to school in the Washtenaw Intermediate School District. 7 Action News reporter Alan Campbell is live with the stunning accusations and the district's response tonight. Alan. Well, Carolyn, that lawsuit is 25 pages long. In it, it alleges for years that Rosa Smith was being abused and neglected while she attended High Point School in Ann Arbor. Awful. Awful. The images are hard to look at. Abusing someone's kid, they should not be still dealing with kids. A lawsuit recently filed against the Washtenaw Intermediate School District and four individuals alleges years of abuse and neglect towards Rosa Smith, who suffers from cerebral palsy. I'm not understanding when we know things are happening. Why do we even have to do this to get feedback? The lawsuit alleges Rosa even had her mouth duct taped because she wouldn't be quiet. It's very disturbing. I couldn't imagine being uh, the parent of that child and seeing something like that. The lawsuit names Rosa's former teacher, principal, and two former teacher aides. She should be dismissed and should never be able to teach anyone else again. Tonight, Washington ISD releasing a statement saying in part, quote, we take the health, safety, and education of all of our students very seriously. As to the subject of this lawsuit, the family did not report this or any other complaint to the district until nearly a year after it occurred. The statement goes on to say, quote, when we were first informed of the family's concern, we immediately conducted a complete investigation and took appropriate remedial action. You just wish that people had better hearts or, you know, they just had better understanding of people with disabilities. And that lawsuit is asking for damages and attorney fees paid for by whatever a jury deems fair and reasonable. Reporting live tonight, I'm Alan Campbell. Carolyn, back to you. I know those images are disturbing. Thank you so much, Alan, for the live report. Stephen? The New York City.